Hi, this is Jeff from Really Active. Apple and Google recently announced a collaboration on a contact tracing service in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, which will use Bluetooth for mobile peer-to-peer -peer discovery with interoperability between iOS and Android devices. With the specification now shared publicly, we've created a few tools to help developers evaluate the physical performance of the proposed service. We've shared code to program an Esprino device, like this PuckJS, to transmit a rolling proximity identifier, which can be detected by devices in range, like this Bangle.js open smartwatch. It too runs Esprino, and we've shared code to program it to vibrate when any contact tracing device is in range at an intensity proportional to its proximity, as well as to display the signal strength. We've also added the contact tracing service UUID to Sniffypedia, which allows software, like our Pareto Anywhere web app, which uses the recent web Bluetooth scanning feature, to look this up and to display the info about the contact tracing service. And one aspect that has been largely overlooked is the fact that fixed Bluetooth gateway infrastructure can also detect mobile devices advertising the contact tracing service. These include our Allen ones which are ideal for temporary deployments, our daisy chain mobile receivers, which are ideal for permanent deployments, and even variants of the ubiquitous Raspberry Pi with an onboard BLE radio. This extends traceability to the spaces visited by an individual who later tests positive, not only to other mobile users. There's much more to discuss, but we'll save that for other videos. You'll find links in the description to all the open source software we presented here. Stay healthy and stay innovative.